pull a little bit through, then milk it, and we're almost there. And I came out at that line, that other line. And so, this just by itself, that is the whole, the whole point of the whoopee sling here. Uh, the idea is when, when this outer constrictor is loosened, like that, you can pull rope through it. But when it's pulled, stretched out tight, you cannot. It is, it is held very tightly. So, I've also seen people uh, threading this rope back into itself. Um, I just assume tie a, a double overhand stopper knot um, just so that uh, you don't run the risk of your um, of this getting pulled back into your sling you know while you're camping or something so that's a simple enough knot two loops like that then back through Okay, and that way you don't got to worry about your rope pulling back into your, back in through your berry. And this is unnecessary since it's behind, both ends are behind knots, but I like to go ahead and and uh, singe the ends here. And that is the completed whoopee sling. Now I will go hang up a hammock with it and uh, show you that this one I just made actually works. And you can see here all I've done is Lark's headed the whoopee sling, the fixed eye, through the sleeve on this hammock. Tighten it up. There you have it. A fully functional whoopee sling setup hammock suspension system. That's been the first episode of Camp Talk. Thanks for watching.